Oh, good morning to you. How's it going today? Show you a little trick here. Um, a lot of times when you go to the flea market or garage sale, you'll find speakers. You'll find them in cabinets. You'll find them loose like this. This is a, some no-name... Well, let me rephrase it. This is actually a Kenwood. Um, probably about a 15-inch woofer. At least 12. But it's uh, not probably one of the high-quality ones. And it looks like it's got a free coating of dust with it. Anyway, one of the little tools I take with me when I go estate sailing or garage sailing or flea marketing or out rummaging around is uh, just a basic battery. You don't need a lot. Any Actually, a worn out one will even work. All you're really interested in is, is that it has some potential on it. So if you got a LED flashlight that eats batteries and runs them down to about a volt, um, those batteries can live a second life. And actually, I've got a little, kind of a little pack I take with me, and actually I keep all those batteries in a little pill bottle. And sure as hell you go to the flea market and you find some kind of cool radio that somebody wants, I don't know, say you find a shortwave radio that somebody wants, a, I don't know, 50 bucks for. And the obvious question is, does it work? And the usually clever reply is, well, last time I checked it, it did, but the batteries are dead. Well, I'm not buying a $50 radio that doesn't work. So you whip out your handy 9 volt there and plug it in and find out that it doesn't work, and then your $50 radio becomes 5 bucks. And then you take it home and fix it. Anyway, to back to the speaker. Um, a quick dirty way to find out if these speakers work, and the word work is a little hazy, but that's okay, is you also need a little clip lead. And all you do is attach one end to the terminal on the speaker. I usually go for the positive if you can identify it. And we'll show you something else about that. And the other end, I just hold my thumb, you know, you just clip it on there. And you, you just want to touch this briefly. You don't want to leave it on there for a long time. And you can actually, if I zoom in, you can actually see the thing move. So you've got a good chance that the speaker is intact. You know you're going to want to look for a few other things. Um, this one actually has the dust cone dented, and that's not critical. You can actually pop those, and if I'm feeling brave, I might pop that. A lot of times I just leave them alone. They're not. It's not anything critical. One of the other things you might run into is sometimes these speakers aren't marked on the terminals. The polarity's not marked. Now traditionally. The positive terminal is the terminal that receives a positive voltage and the cone will push out away from the, the magnet toward you if you're facing the cone. So what I do is I hook this up again and put the positive terminal out there and just touch that. And if you touch it right, see that's backward. So the other terminal is actually the positive. And it's pushing the cone away. And you don't need those little marks if you know that. Now, after you went to all the trouble, you get out your Sharpie and mark that with a plus. And it doesn't even matter if you get a whole bunch of speakers that don't have marks or you're a little suspicious about, you can go along merrily touching that with that battery. A really small speaker, it's a little hazy. You might want to put a resistor in there just to knock the voltage down, but usually a worn out pin light cell will test that just fine. And that'll get you going. I also use that trick on, you find old headphones, old earphones, you know, oh yeah those work fine. You try them and they're usually dead as a doornail. Um, to test voltmeters, you know, turn them on, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean they work. You at least have a fighting chance if you can measure a voltage. And if you take your 9 volt or your double A with you or both, then you've got a fighting chance. You'd be surprised how many... I don't know whether people do this on purpose or they're just 
unaware of it. I, I'm going to say that they're unaware that the item they're trying to sell you worked the last time they used it, and it doesn't now. Although there's a side of me that believes they're doing it on, some of them are doing it on purpose. Oh, well, it's kind of buyer beware, so. Maybe the real tool you should take instead of the battery is your best brain. Get the good one, the one you don't use very often. <laughs> anyway, take it easy and have fun today. Bye-bye.